When the time comes to replace a major bridge on one of the busiest stretches of interstate in Maine, you gather the best team you have and do something that's never been done before. You don't get to shut down 295 every day. You don't get to move a bridge in this manner every day. The Veranda Street Bridge carries I-295 over Route 1, Veranda Street, in Portland. On any given day, between 55 and 75,000 vehicles rely on this critical piece of infrastructure. The old bridge was built more than 60 years ago, and after decades of heavy use, it was time for a new one. One of the things that we looked at during the project was how do we do this effectively? How do we, how do we replace a bridge on one of the busiest highways in Maine while minimizing traffic disruption? Working with a team of design consultants, Maine Department of Transportation engineers decided to use an accelerated bridge construction technique. Crews spent months building the new Veranda Street bridge decks right next to the existing highway. The plan involved using self-propelled modular transporters to slowly move the new bridge decks into place, something Maine DOT had never attempted. I mean, in 27 years, this, is, this project has many firsts on it. Demolishing the old bridge and moving in the new one would happen over the course of just 60 hours. This really is a rip off the band-aid type approach to doing the work. Using traditional construction methods, we would have had construction on I-295 for three to four years continuously. Doing it this way, it's a single weekend. Still, the plan required a significant reduction in traffic volume during the closure weekend. Public communication about disruptions and detours was key. If you drive between Portland and Falmouth, you need to know about a major project the Maine DOT is calling the Veranda Plan. One of the things I think I would have been impressed by is the timeliness of it, how quickly it, it happened, the good communication around it. So I was prepared. We got very specific details from Main DOT and I'm really impressed by the communication as the project drew closer. Like I said, we're real serious about safety. At 7 o'clock on Friday evening, traffic stopped on this part of the interstate and demolition crews got to work. They worked through the night to remove the old bridge, ramming concrete and cutting rebar. It's been a 24-hour operation. On Saturday morning, a crane lifted the last beam of the old bridge out of place. Then, crews worked to make sure the new bridge abutments were ready for the placement of the new bridge decks. Major operations like this are really well-orchestrated events. They have to be. On Saturday afternoon, the first transporter wheels started rolling. Bridges that weigh 800,000 pounds lifted 27 feet up in the air on what looks like milk crates. The main event after years of planning. There was almost no room for error. They brought it in and brought it down within an inch of where it's supposed to be, so pretty incredible. But the job wasn't done. The second bridge deck slid into place, a process that took crews into the early hours of Sunday. When 2.30 in the morning, we saw that second bridge touch down, we knew it was gonna fit. That was great for everybody. After that, earthwork and paving continued to get I-295 ready to reopen. The new Veranda Street Bridge opened to traffic minutes before 7 a.m. on Monday, four hours ahead of schedule. One of the things that's really so satisfying about this project is that it really is the opportunity to demonstrate to people that you don't have to leave Maine to work on really cool, really amazing projects. It happens right here. This is the Super Bowl of bridge replacement projects. This is one of the highlights of my career, absolutely. We're improving the area and it's we're getting the project done in a very timely fashion. It's been such an honor to work with this team and be part of this, something I'm gonna remember for the rest of my life. The new bridge, a symbol of success and accomplishment after years of hard work and 60 incredible hours. As we look ahead to the next project, we'll continue delivering on our promise to keep Maine moving. Thank you.